this 20 years old male presented with a blunt trauma to the eye and now we are examining his uh, eye on the slit lamp and you can see there is something in the anterior chamber semi transparent membrane which flickers with flickering movement so and there are fine yellow pigments in it now here it is clearly visible so that vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber after blunt trauma so that's how it is seen and you can see it is coming out of the pupil from nine o'clock from nine ten eleven twelve one two three up to four o'clock superiorly vitreous humor is coming out so what is vitreous vitreous is a latin word meaning glass so it's a glass like tra clear transparent gel that fills the back of the eye vitreous cavity space between lens and the retina it is composed mainly of water and collagen fibers glycosaminoglycans hyaluronic acid and few other proteins at birth it is formally gel but with aging it starts liquefying this process is called vitreous degeneration or vitreous senaresis in few instances vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber one which is shown here in the blunt trauma case when fuse annules break down and path is created for the vitreous to prolapse anteriorly but the more but most commonly vitreous prolapse during cataract surgery in past it was a routine occurrence when intracapsular cataract extraction was performed with the advent with the advent of phacomalsification vitreous prolapse becomes less so now when pcr posterior capsular rupture occurs during cataract surgery the vitreous finds its way into the anterior chamber so how this vitreous reached anterior chamber definitely the news broke and it came so if vitreous is present in the anterior chamber how would you detect you should ask the patient to gently move the eye and vitreous will also move and becomes visible it also contains yellow pigments and in case of trauma some blood will also present you can track its path it should be coming from the pupil and check its extent like one important condition is vitreous wick syndrome in which the vitreous extends up to the corneal wound and clogs the suture causing microscopic breakdown of the wound and endophthalmitis if vitreous touches corneal endothelium it can cause corneal decompensation it can also cause pupil block glaucoma pupil peak and clog the trabecular meshwork treatment is anterior vitrectomy and if you are not seeing it you can use tramsin alone to stain it to increase its visibility and then cut it with the cutter so that was all about the vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber after watching this video i hope now you will be able to view it more clearly and you have a clear concept of vitreous thank you very much